Hey you guys, this is Farias from Brazil. Um, in this video, I'm gonna discuss about the three key principles to memorize efficiently Chinese characters. The minimum number of Chinese characters that you need to be able to start reading on this paper is 1,500. How to memorize them? Have an efficient method and use the right tool to efficiently and quickly memorize Chinese characters. Three things are important. First, learn only the useful characters. There are roughly 50,000 existing Chinese characters in use today. A native Chinese speaker only knows 5,000 to 10,000 characters. But you will only need to know 1,500 to start reading a newspaper. So it is important that, at least in the beginning, you learn only these 1,500 most useful characters and not any of the 40,008 other characters. Uh, the second point is understand where the characters come from and how they have been formed. Know the category, the characters uh, you are learning belongs to. So, how, how are we going to learn the first 1,500 characters? Be organized and logical. If you have a logical way of storing things by category in your garage, uh, it will be extremely easy to find any object when you need it. For example, put all the tools in one box, all the light bulb in one drawer, etc. It will be easier to locate things, since you will just have to remember where characters, categories of things are. Try to learn each character as a whole through knowing the important thing about the character, by knowing which category it belongs to, its history, how it has been formed, you will then be able to memorize it much more efficiently. Any character can be classified in one of the following six categories. First, pictograms, symbols, pictophonogram, ideogram, phonetic loans, and reclarified. Um, depending on the category a character belongs to, you should apply a different strategy for learning it. Number three, learn characters in a pedagogical order. We have seen that most Chinese characters are pictophonograms, uh, and that these characters are themselves composed of symbols or pictograms. Does it make sense to first learn symbols and pictograms before learning more complex characters like pictophonograms, phonetic loans, or reclarified. Okay, I hope this video may help you. Bye!